My name is Frankie Maldonado. I am the Director of Operations at Lifeguard Imaging. I'm here with my family, my wife Amy, my son Francesco, my daughters Gigi and Mia, and we're here to tell you our story. So the inspiration for Lifeguard Imaging was my father, who lost his life, it's hard for me to believe, but it's almost 25 years ago to pancreatic cancer, tragically because of the misdiagnosis of a traditional CT scanner. Uh, which is programmed a little bit differently than ours. They take wider slices. We take these very thin slices to capture the most minute developings within the body. Um, it is a tragedy that is happening to unfortunately millions of people around the world throughout the years. And for me, the biggest trouble amongst the many things of not having extra time with my father is that my wife never met my father, um, which in turn means my children never met my father. Um, my dad wanted his entire life, as I was growing older, always would say, I'm not rushing you, but I can't wait to be a grandfather. And it is a painful, painful thing to think that he never got a chance to meet them. And I know he's proud, because he looks down and he sees all of us, uh, but it's unfortunate. And the very, very sad part of this is, there are too many people that are still losing their family members to diseases that can be captured, and we're able to do that. We're finding heart disease, we're finding hundreds of cancers through our scan, and the motivation we have is truly to help as many people as possible not, uh, possible not suffer through that tragedy of losing their loved ones. And we're blessed to be doing what we're doing. And it's funny because my dad, being a doctor, had saved so many lives through his life. I didn't decide to go the route of medicine and never thought I'd have that experience. It's the most rewarding experience when we get those calls from our patients who say, I can't thank you enough, you saved my husband's life, my wife's life, and knowing that they're going to be able to experience more and more memories together is as grateful a feeling as you could have. If my father were here today, and he was a very passionate man, I don't know if I could put into words the pride my father would have or the feeling he would have seeing the good that's being done in this facility, and more importantly, honoring his name, because his picture his name, his story is on the wall of our lobby in all future locations of Lifeguard. Honestly, he would be the proudest man in the world. And I know he still is where he is, but I certainly wish he was here to see it in person. She knows the stories of my dad and uh, his passion for life, for everything. And it's funny because I've told her the stories of how I knew as the kids were growing up, if they saw my son or my daughters playing soccer, um, my dad would have been beaming as a former professional soccer player watching them. If he had the chance to meet my wife, he would have loved her as though he was, she was his own daughter. Um, and I say this all the time, that he without question, I believe would have purchased and paid probably double for the home next to us to be as close to them as he could. And that's the biggest thing, is we just want people to know, listen, it's not necessarily when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. I mean, seriously, Carlos, it's not that way. They call these things the silent killers, and people have kind of just accepted the fact that, listen, if I get heart, heart disease or cancer, I'm going to go. That's the way it used to be. We now have a way of finding these things, and because of that, people are living longer lives. That's incredible, and it's right here in our backyard, and anybody who wants it has access to it. It's really a remarkable thing we're capable of doing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he was robbed of being a grandfather of something that he was looking so forward to after working on his all these years and sit, helping other people he wanted to sit back and enjoy his family and one day grandchildren and he was robbed of that too early it just it didn't need to happen and myself and our children are robbed of not having him in our lives you know if he was he, the father like Frankie is, that he would have been an amazing grandfather. And it's a tragedy, you know? And nobody has to feel that way too soon. If it can be helped, then we want to help. You know, Carlos, there's something I've, I've said literally since I became a father. I'm, I don't think I've ever said this to my children, but I've always said this to people. That if my children love me, half as much as I love my dad. I'm the, I'm the second best father that ever lived. And that's the truth.
know, this is my family, uh, which I'm so happy and blessed to have with me. This is why we're doing what we're doing. It's the, so that we can spend this time with our family as long as possible and to help everybody else to do the exact same thing. Lifeguard Imaging. Saving lives through early detection.